Hi guys, today we're gonna tie a updated version of the good old Wiggle Wagon. Nothing wrong with the old one, but I just wanted to use some new materials and also some very old materials which I have never used on this fly before, so let's get started. So, as the rear hook we're gonna use a Partridge Universal Predator X in size 40. Now we got a good solid base for the rest of the materials. Next thing is to build an attachment for the wiggle tail. And for that I'm using a titanium wire. I'm using the Bauer pike wire. Depends on how long fly you're gonna make, but you have to measure it by yourself. But I would say that 22 centimeters will be enough. You have to double it like this, so you can get the attachment and the bead on the wire. And then a bead. I'm using a 4 millimeter in diameter bead here, but it can be 3, it can be 5. I don't think the pikes mind it. I think this will be good. Let's tie it in here. I guess I don't have to remind you of the super glue after every step. And now it's time for some bucktail. Fluorescent uh, chartreuse and fluorescent yellow. We're gonna blend them a bit two small bunches take your time to mix them well we're gonna tie the first bunch with the tips pointing backwards not as a reverse tie couple of loose Create wraps and then and then tidying them up. Cut off the excess. And now, instead of uh, hedron magnum flash, we're going to use this uh, hedron uh, neon flash. I love these bright colors, and uh, the color we're going to use today is neon yellow we're gonna take some strands maybe 10 taper the ends make sure the glue is dry makes things so much easier fold it over and try to spread it uh, 180 degrees over the hook shank. And same shit on the belly side. Now we're going to add some Senio laser dub, hot orange, fluorescent color too. Uh, we're going to add a small, small amount of it, just as a trigger point. Don't need to cover the whole uh, tail of the fly, just a small trigger point. Keep that in mind. Now 
Next material, a chenille called Polar Reflector Flash. And we're gonna use the chartreuse color and we're gonna build a body of it. Pretty cool stuff this too. we're gonna repeat uh, the bucktail part with the fluorescent yellow and the uh, chartreuse also fluorescent color and uh, this time we're gonna do it in hollow style Sometimes secure the tie with some glue on the thread and tighten it in here. And then cut off the excess. And now we're gonna repeat the flash part. A couple of strands on both sides, maybe ten. Could actually get off maybe two centimeters of this so we get a nice tapered fly. Don't forget to taper the ends also. Press it with your thumb so you can so you get a about 180 degrees spread on the flash here. And same thing on the belly side of the fly. I think we could add some flash and uh, we're gonna add some ripple lights fiber in fluorescent yellow color gives just the shine that I want on this fly. We're gonna try to spread it 180 degrees and add one more bunch of it. So, a little bit of glue and actually we're halfway. If you want you can finish here and go fish with this one too, but... Well, the front hook, 
is going to be tied on a Partridge Universal Predator X in size 6 0. First, we're going to cover the hook shank uh, with some tying thread to get a good solid base for the rest of the materials. To attach these two hooks together, I'm using a plastic coated steel wire, partridge bike tech wire. I have to measure it a bit. Well, I think this will be good. I think it's about 15 centimeter long. Then we need some beads. These are a bit bigger. Uh, I think they were 6 mm in diameter if I remember correct and we're gonna need three of them. Take some in different colors here. Just for fun. Then thread the hook on the wire like this. And then you just try the three be bits on the wired also. That's number one. Number two. And number three. So, here we go. Then we're going to place the whole package on the front hook. Be sure that the rear hook tip is upwards and that the one the last bead is lying on the hook bend. And secure the whole thing with a lot of thread wraps and some super glue. So, fold the excess material backwards. I think I need to cut it off a bit. Take from the other side too. Now, fold the excess material backwards and Secure it with some thread wraps. <laughs> oh, come on. Now we're talking. After I have covered this package with some super glue, it will be bulletproof. You won't be able to rip the rear hook off. Bucktail, bucktail, bucktail. We're gonna blend some chartreuse and some cold Highlander green. and we're gonna do a hollow time. Looking good. 
Now we need to get off the excess. Secure this tie a bit. And push the fibers backwards with a pen. And watch out for the rear hook. This punch seems a little bit unwilling to cooperate. And now we're gonna add some flash, and uh, we're not gonna add uh, the neon yellow flash anymore. We're gonna go for some. Uh, no, this is some kind of a chartreuse or light green or something like that about the same amount 10 to 12 strands and taper the ends using your thumb or what finger you want to use and same thing on the belly side of the fly. with the polar reflector flash. I really like this material. Just a dash of olive 
just to get a little bit darker front of the fly. And notice that we're going to tie it just on the upper side of the hook shank. Try to get it once again at 180 degrees. We're going to add some orange on the belly side of the fly. It's going to give a cool contrast. and cut off the excess. Sometimes this feels to be a bit tricky but you get used to it. Secure the tie with some super glue. And time for the pen trick again. Last time on this fly. So the last time for the neon flash. going to add a neon flash on the belly side we're going to add some predator dubbing in a red row color just a thin layer of it So we're gonna add some black predator dubbing. Looks a little bit messy, but maybe I found some find some black material.
Then we're gonna take a little bit more of this material and we're gonna rip it apart and try to taper the ends so it don't look chopped. And we're gonna tie them in on the both sides of the fly. Then we're gonna I think we're gonna take this clamp off and then I'm just gonna fold this material backwards. So I think we're pretty much done. We need to add some eyes and uh, this one will be ready to hit the water. Maybe we could cover the white thread with some red permanent marker here. Absolutely not a must do but I think it looks pretty nice. Gonna add some orange fluorescent eyes, 11 millimeters. These are fly dressing eyes. I think they suit pretty fine on this fly. And we're gonna attach them with some epoxy. Jet epoxy in a bottle. I really like this stuff too. We're done. Now we have to wait for the epoxy glue to dry and then we can check out the result. Well, I'm pretty happy with this one. How it came out from the wise, it's uh, I attached a uh, uh, custom painted. Wiggle tail custom painted by Backler from Sweden. The fly measures about 37 centimeters and uh, yeah, very good to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>